Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about an interesting question. Why do VPN companies advertise themselves so much? Hey guys, just a reminder to check out VPN tier list. Dot com. If you want to help support the channel, I recommend visiting my website using Brave. It's a great browser for privacy advocates. And if you guys visit vpntierless.com by downloading Brave and using it by going to brave.com slash tom352, you can help support the channel. So once you have Brave installed and ready to go, you can check out vpntierless.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel, and you're going to find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. So guys, recently there was some news that came out about Amazon affiliate program. Now, if you don't know what Amazon's affiliate program is, well, basically it was a way for blogs, YouTube channels, or pretty much anyone who wanted to could sign up through Amazon. And if they gave someone a link and someone clicked on it and bought an item on Amazon, they would receive um, a commission. Now, Amazon has recently just gutted the commissions for pretty much anyone using their affiliate program which means that pretty much everyone using it is going to receive 50 to 70% less money than they had before. Um, so pretty much any website using Amazon affiliate marketing to make a living, to make a business out of it, which a lot of websites do, um, like Wirecutter and other websites which recommend products to people, they're pretty much gonna lose you know, 50 to 70% of their earnings. Pretty much their earning potential is gonna be cut in half, which is a crazy thing. Uh, now, how is this related to VPN? How is this related to the VPN companies themselves? Well, that's because I think it draws a good comparison to how the VPN companies work right now. Amazon itself has become one of the biggest, if not the biggest um, retailer in the world in terms of online shopping. It doesn't really have any competition anymore. Pretty much if someone wants to buy something, even for groceries, they'll just go on Amazon and buy it there. They don't really waste that much time using other websites. Now that's not saying other websites don't get any online business, but Amazon by far has the most market share and it doesn't even really even have to compete anymore for other online retailers. So Amazon knows this and this is why they kind of gutted their affiliate program because why do they need people directing people to their site if they already have the most traffic anyways? Not only that, they don't really need to pay anyone else to advertise for them because they're just quite simply so big. They've kind of reached the threshold, I think, where the amount of money they were paying people for affiliations was not really worth the amount of advertising they were getting, especially since pretty much everyone knows about Amazon. Everyone who's going to shop on Amazon shops on Amazon and maybe they've just kind of reached that threshold. So that's why they've decreased the affiliate program. Now, how is this related to VPN once again? Well, that's because VPNs also have really big affiliate programs. The question then becomes though, why does Amazon cut their affiliate program in this way, but why don't VPN companies do the same thing? Well, Amazon is uh, the biggest kind of retailer and it doesn't have any competition, whereas VPN providers themselves have so much competition. There's only one Amazon, but there was, I would say, probably around 15 to 20 big VPN providers all struggling for the same kind of market share. Each one of these VPN providers has an affiliate program because they want to remain competitive. It's the kind of the, the best way to advertise their services, the best way to get people to talk about them, and they all have competitive affiliate programs. However, there also kind of seems to be um, a threshold. Some companies like Molvad or iVPN aren't using affiliate programs because they kind of think it gives them a better reputation because a lot of VPN companies themselves and their affiliate programs and people who review them kind of have spotty reputations. So if some VPN providers are going the opposite route, but a lot of other VPN pro pro providers themselves, I don't think they're ever really gonna ax their affiliate programs because they just there's just so much competition and they really do want people using their product and getting eyes on their product. So I think the only way that VPN providers themselves would stop having these affiliate programs or stop advertising so much is if there was a consolidation of the VPN providers themselves. And we've seen this a little bit with the stuff like IP Vanish um, and J2 Global, the company that purchased IP Vanish is also owns IGN and some of these other big websites like speedtest.net, PC Mag. 
So maybe if VPN providers keep consolidating and keep buying more and more VPNs, we might actually see the affiliate programs and advertised spending for these VPN providers to go downhill because they're not really having to compete anymore against other VPN providers if they just own them all. So it would be kind of interesting to see if IPVanish did kind of drop its affiliate program, um, if it kept scooping up more VPN providers, it wouldn't really need people to advertise for them and they wouldn't really need to spend money on it anymore. But since there is such a competitive marketplace among VPN providers, um, I do think that affiliate programs and VPN advertiser programs are probably going to be a thing for quite a while. This is a good thing for my channel and it's a good thing overall, I think, to have competition in the industry um, because it makes all the products better and we don't really want to see um, something like um, Amazon. Um, we don't really want to see another VPN become something like Amazon where it becomes such a monopoly, not only for channels like mine that use affiliation to make a living, um, but we just don't really want to see a VPN monopoly itself. Um, because if we did see kind of a VPN monopoly, it would kind of mean that they can do kind of stuff like I guess Amazon would be doing. Paying the customers not that much, um, you know, maybe avoiding tax returns and stuff like that. Who, who knows if VPNs are doing that already with all these offshore locations and stuff like that. It's entirely possible as well. But I'm kind of getting off the track here a little bit. Let's go back to my main point, which is why do VPNs advertise so much? And the basic answer is, is just because there are so many VPNs and they're all fighting for the same customer. Most VPNs at the end of the day kind of do the same thing. They change your IP, they encrypt your traffic, they have similar features and similar clients overall. So the only differentiator then really between VPN providers arguably could be the amount of money they're willing to throw around to get customers. I think that's why NordVPN and companies like ExpressVPN are the most popular VPNs simply because they just have the most money behind them. Now in terms of my critical analysis, in terms of product, is a company like NordVPN the best VPN provider? Well no, there are VPNs that have better speeds and security features and stuff like that, but these kind of things aren't going to make a product necessarily more popular. They're going to make whoever makes that product um, have higher customer satisfaction have you know less returns and maybe have more of a profitable company but it doesn't equal kind of popularity so vpns advertise because they have a lot of money they want to buy more customers they want to get more of the market share but should vpn providers really be advertising that much well i don't think the good ones really are probably because they don't have shady investors and because they're probably focusing more on spending their money on stuff that's going to make them more profit and have happier customers that's why some of my top rated VPNs like Tor Guard and AirVPN don't spend really any money on advertising at all. Now something like ExpressVPN is one of the top VPNs on my site as well. It's the number two VPN and they do spend a lot of money on advertising. They do have an excellent product and they've been around for quite a long time and they've probably invested a lot of money into their product as well. In some ways you can argue that the perfect balance between product and marketing would give you the best solution. And that could be considered the case with ExpressVPN although I still don't think it's the best product. It's a little too expensive, but it does present perhaps a good kind of happy medium. You have something like AirVPN, which hardly spends any money on advertising at all, is an excellent product, but it's not very popular and it probably doesn't have that many investors. I think at the end of the day, it's important to kind of think about the company itself. Um, maybe companies that don't advertise so much are smaller companies, run more tightly, don't have kind of so much investors are kind of corporate leadership they have to listen to and perhaps are kind of more trustworthy in that fashion. I think trusting a smaller company sometimes is something people like to do, which is why people like to support small businesses. So companies that don't advertise so much could perhaps be considered more trustworthy by some people. Anyways, guys, this is kind of just a ranting video, kind of a thought video, just talking about VPNs and advertising overall, how the affiliate works, and perhaps what could happen if a VPN monopoly ever gets created. I think that there could be some bad repercussions. And I do think that in some ways the VPN monopoly itself has kind of already come here in that there are maybe two or three VPN providers that kind of have taken over the market just by throwing so much money around and it kind of has affected the market in that people feel pushed towards certain products that might not necessarily be the best. So if you were to take anything away from this video, it might be that maybe checking out smaller VPN companies could be a good thing for you. It's not maybe good as an investor or corporate shareholder, but some smaller VPN providers who don't spend money on advertising 
do have fundamental reasons for doing so that could be good reasons for you as a customer. Anyways, guys, if you want to know all my thoughts about VPN, check out the rankings on vpntierless.com, and I'll see you again very soon.